guys this is Val and welcome back to Val's kitchen welcome back for another video on the menu for today I'm gonna be doing Aki and Redderin that sounds strange no guys normally I'm gonna say Aki and Saltfish but I'm just gonna switch it up a little bit and just do it with the Redderin today okay so here I have all the ingredients I have a piece of green sweet pepper I have tomato I have scallion onion pepper this now this is gonna be using in the aki while cooking the aki with the red herring just to flavor the aki okay yeah and, and i have black pepper and I'm, I'm not sure if i'm gonna use any salt because the red herring is already salty and i'm gonna cook the red herring with the aki so come along let me show you how i'm gonna prepare this nice aki with red herring yes so here I am now, what I'm going to be doing Oh, I forgot to show you the aki guys I pick the aki and I wash it So what I'm going to be doing No, you know, I'm going to put in this first I'm going to put in the red herring Right, I'm not going to boil it too much I'm going to soak it in but guess what I'm going to soak it overnight But the red herring is more soft It's more soft and texture than the salt fish If you soak it, it's going to be like too soft So I'm going to boil it for a couple of minutes and I'm um, and, and going to cook the aki with it you know, just to get the flavor I'm going to get up a lot of flavor there from the red herring in the aki Guys, the, the reason for the pimento seed and the thyme is just to give the aki the flavor You know, season the aki from the start So from back in the days, we used to see my mother cook our, our aki with thyme and pimento seed Right, so I'm going to spell her and do the same thing You know, so what I'm going to be doing now Just put in the aki I'm not gonna use any salt, so we just want a little flavor from the red herring. Not aki. Okay, guys, so let me just cook this, cook the aki, and uh, come back and show you. I'm gonna prepare it, put it together. All right, guys, I'm just gonna prepare the vegetable for the aki. Guys, tell me how long it has been since you all have red herring and aki. You know, you know y'all is the regular thing y'all is y'all is I use salt fish so you know I'm just want to switch it up it's nice though you know but a long time Mr. Sorry me never think about this long time now to do it on a video should I think about it long long time to do it for a video you know and this now you can eat it with um breadfruit roast breadfruit have a nice yellow hard breadfruit if you have a piece of yam, two dumpling, anything all right, so people have them choice you know, people have different different ways where them um, love them, them happy, you know them way there? Guys, let me tell you the truth. Let me tell you all the truth. Yes. When I'm cooking my aki, guys, you see tomato and um, tomato and uh, you see tomato and sweet pepper. Tell you the truth, it don't give the aki any flavor. It just get a nice color presentation. You know what? For presentation, is that I really use tomato in my aki for. These are the flavor. Scallion, onion, and garlic, black pepper. That's what gave your aki flavor. Yes. Yeah, man. Somebody just put in this for us. You know, make it look nice, you know, colorful. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm not make it. I'm not gonna make it cook out neither. Cook out the, the tomato too much. Make it saggy? No. You just take out all them soft part you like, you know. We just use them something here just to garnish. We not, we not, it not give it aki any flavor. I don't know what some people think about. Guys, you can tell me down in the comment section what you all think about that. Alright? Give me a give you a aki flavor, man. Garlic, onion, scallion. Yes, 
guys, so the Aki, I think it cooked. I'm going to turn about 10 minutes. I add it to Aki this, you know. It's not the, like the butter Aki. The right type of Aki, guys. You can cook. Right. We have the Aki them, you know. Some of them, as I put them in the pot, you know, before them start cook, them start mash out. I hate them kind of Aki there. So, after we finish with these, you know, we can take them out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to strain out the... The water so come and go show you the stream it on turn up the stove guys wash your red arena before and after always remember wash out majority of the salt the thing is guys with the with the, with the red arena now them have some finer bones the bones them extra finer extra fine <laughs> the bone them really fine but you know I can't get out all of these bones, but I'm gonna try and get out as much as possible. Yeah, you know what we notice now? We normally back in long time days, we never get rid of it, so you know, we get it like this, you know, without the head and the and the skin. You know, we have the skin and put it on the fire, put it over on the fire and strip off the skin and fire it, and then we will not, not see that again more than so. This, this is the way we get it now. Yeah, we do a lot of work for it, brother. Yeah, so let's kind of get them a little small, okay? Bone them real fine, you know. You have to get out as much as possible. Yeah, so let me just get out some of them bone here and then come back to you guys, alright? Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna put some oil, I'm gonna start cooking up my aki. You know you have to put a good amount of oil, guys. You don't want too much. You don't want too much oil in a butt. You have to put a good amount of oil, so you can get like some juice to eat in the food. Juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! All right, now so let me just put in the skeleton. We have certain things I'm gonna leave. The last, 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 you know. Not in them at once, you know. I don't want them too mushy and cook out too much stuff. So. Put in a piece of thing. I think I use one piece of that pepper, you know. You know, it is spicy. But me alone, you know, I eat all one pepper. You know, so. Hello, cook, mommy. Yeah, no, no. I cook from your children here, you know. Um, I'm going to go to the long time still because I feel like I'm going to cook something. Not today or yesterday, I'm going to do this. Always. <laughs> no day. You're going to like that. But you love your belly too. <laughs> yeah, I take out that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I take out that for a pass. There's something they give me the black pepper. Right, so. Kind of. I love cook certain cheese and them patty, you know. I love, love them patty. Yeah, you know. So, when you do this, you know, guys, with the, with the um, you know, look at this arm, um, arm. Um, you know the skelly and you know, the skelly and the garlic and the onion that gets your right flavor. Right, right flavor. Hey, you say if you have a restaurant, you could have cooked aki and saltish different from aki and red herring. You know, that good. Be, and yeah. aki, you know, when I said aki to start my friend. You know that, guys? Yeah, so what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna be doing now, do Because a lot of persons don't really like saltish, you know. Yeah. If you ask people you know? if they like aki and saltfish, they're gonna say no, they don't like saltfish. Alright, so. So, on the things that the plan, you should know? Pretty nice. Hold 
that's it from Black Pepper here. I must have a look at Black Pepper because this one guys bring up the flavor in your salt fish man. Are you actually? Are you ready really? You ever see that I'm happy and salt fish? My city really. When you use to set me now. You know what I mash it out, wash out, you know what I don't want to mash out the hockey here too much, you know. So you know what I'm gonna be doing now? You just have to cover it down, put it on a low, low heat. Right? Let's cover this down. Yeah. You know what? Just mash up, turn it down, and make it just stay and steam. Yes, you get the hockey, you get all of the flavor in. Right? So I'm gonna just cover it down. About five minutes, let's come back. Ooh, nice. You could just smell this. You could just smell it. You're not even stir it no more. It's just nice. Guys, you know the trick to making a perfect aki. To make a perfect aki dish. Anything you're using in your aki, like salt mackerel, salt fish red herring or some people call it smoke herring just cook your aki with whatever fish you're cooking right and the aki get the, the flavor from beginning you understand that you season it with a little pimento seed and a piece of thyme that is the trick in cooking up with getting a good flavor from your aki so i'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn out the stove right and share a plate i know i'm gonna eat this maybe two dumplings because i don't have any banana you know, maybe I put two dumplings with it and um, that's it. Yeah. Oh my god. So, guys, what I'm going to be doing is just share a plate. Ooh. Wow. Guys, as I said already, you can anything of a choice, you know? You can have it with a breadfruit, a nice yellow hot breadfruit. This is a final dish, guys. So remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notification bell. Guys, one don't want to turn on the bell. You don't want to see the nice video them. You don't want to see the nice recipes them. Turn on the post notification bell. Guys, turn on the bell them the man. Put the settings on all. You don't miss out on all of the good things them, you know. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. And thanks again for watching and bye.